the Appalachian headwaters are some of the most important water systems to protect. We, we like to think of ourselves because we are the water tower of the east. These headwaters um, mainly drain toward the Ohio River, toward the Mississippi River, and up in the Gulf of Mexico. So along that path, millions of people are relying on clean water coming from our West Virginia headwaters. And we have to think about the cumulative effects when you're talking about uh, several hundred of streams and wetlands that stand to be affected in close proximity of one another. With the pipeline disturbance, mainly we're looking at sedimentation. Sedimentation can last up to four years. The easiest way to think about sedimentation is mud. <laughs> and you know, for, even for me, when I first started learning about sedimentation, oh, that's just a muddy river. That's not really pollution. Well, it is. It's pollution that has an effect on the ecosystem, particularly the, sm the, the small bugs and small critters that are the base of the food chain. If those animals are affected, and they will be, uh, by excessive sedimentation over time, it's going to affect the entire food web. There may be places they've built pipelines and done a better job, but what we've seen with Mountain Valley Pipeline is the type of terrain, the type of water bodies they're affecting. It just can't be done. It cannot be done in a way that doesn't degrade our water quality. And, and we've just seen this from upland construction. That's why our mission as West Virginia Rivers Coalition really is centered around the value of headwaters, protecting those headwaters for the benefits they, they not only provide in the immediate ecosystem, but for those downstream benefits as well. This should be not only the interest of West Virginians, but anyone who lives downstream who is going to pay the price of disturbing these, these sensitive headwater river systems.